Welcome to J is for Justice podcast. If live breaking news and following true crime is your thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like what you see in my videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up. Hey guys, welcome to JS for Justice. I'm just, all my stuff popped up. So I was working on this, kind of trying to make my stream look a little more and nicer. Nicer, nicer. So welcome to JS for Justice. My name is Jay um, and welcome to my channel. Today, I wanted to come on, first of all, because I didn't get to discuss the interview with Don the other night or the other afternoon. Um, and we're talking about the case of Summer Wells missing summer wells she's a five-year-old and she is missing from i think it's rogersville or kingsport tennessee right in that area um she's been missing for roughly two weeks there is no sign of her nothing her dad told all of us that there was in infrared helicopters there was you know, night vision, um, going over at night, and they found absolutely nothing related to summer at all. Zip. What do you make of this? So before I give you, there was just a correction that Don wanted to make and something that he said on the, on the show the other day regarding Hunter's mom. And we're going to get to that in a minute, but I did want to go over a few things in the interview because I know I couldn't answer all of your questions. Like, I didn't even read chat until the very, very end. Hi, Cobb. Hey, Brunch. Thanks for being here to mod, you guys. Um, but one thing that I do want to say before we start talking about Don and Candace and this entire situation. If, if these two were suspects and they had done something to their daughter and their daughter was missing because of them or authorities thought it was because of them, do you think that they would have custody right now of their three boys? Do you think that the two of them would have custody of their three children under the age of 12? What do you think of that? I mean, have you ever heard of a case where there was suspected that there was, um, you know, one child possibly uh, missing or abducted or murdered where they kept those children in the care of the parents? Wait, what's the rumors, you guys? Oh, you guys talking about, like, this sexual abuse stuff with Don? Bridget, Survey 319, you have a different viewpoint. Hi, Georgia dog. Oh, there's Donnie B. Okay. More making money. Of, whatever. No one's making any money. Okay. Oh, I think that there is more to the story. But it's not my job to say no, absolutely, Bridget. No, I was just reading your comment. Because I don't, my personal opinion is, um, I don't think those kids would be in their, in their care if authorities truly believed they had something to do with it. I don't think the authorities would take on that kind of liability. And Betsy, I, I feel like, I feel like 
a child missing for over two weeks without a trace would be solid proof to remove the children if they suspected they were involved. Uh, Patrick Frazee case, he had the baby. True. Good point. Okay, so lady, let's get to... Thank you, Brunch Mom. You know, I just wanted to give the guy uh, somewhere to get his thoughts out without being censored, without, you know, the interview being edited. Because, you know, mainstream media, they can only, you know, they'll, you'll, they'll talk to you for two hours. And then when the video comes out, it's like five minutes. So, anyhow, um, I saw a lot of you were on another channel, and I can't remember her channel name offhand. I had never heard of her before, but she seemed, she's super cool. And if you guys could please let me know who it was because I can't remember she was outside she was smoking cigarettes she was cool she was like you know I'm not here to talk about anybody like she totally has like the cool attitude that everyone on YouTube should have but anyways I don't know who that is I don't know like my name was in her title and people were like oh what are you talking about chasing truth that's it that's her She's super cool. I like her. I just like her attitude. She doesn't get in the in the bullshit. She was really being baited too. <laughs> she was really being baited. Most people, I mean, she doesn't know me. She could have been like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> but she wasn't. She was like, shit, I don't know her. Yeah, totally neutral. I think that's cool. Um, so anyways, back to this interview, um, was there anything that stood out to you guys? I mean, besides the yellow car, I know nothing was really new news. Um, we're just hearing it from Don. And anyways, my belief is that Don is being completely truthful. I don't think he's lying. I think he's telling us what he knows or what he was told because he wasn't there. So you guys are being really, really hard on a guy who wasn't even there. And a guy who actually, like, works hard for his family. Like, he does manual labor construction to support his family. And everyone is, like, bashing him. So, and that gets me to his phone call to me yesterday. So I'm sitting here and I look down and he's calling and I'm like, oh, no, that's wrong, you know. He says, I just want to clarify one thing after talking with my wife um, about Hunter's mom. And I was like, what about her? And he said, well, their falling out was about Hunter's mom's daughter screwing around with a 12-year-old boy when she was 15. But she didn't want my wife to lie to the police. She wanted me, wanted my wife to lie about the girl sleeping with the 12 year old. Something along, like, I think that's what it was, if I'm getting it correct. Bottom line, okay? Bottom line, stupid. No one should even be talking about this. Her friend who has beef with her should never have been given a platform to start unneeded drama. We have a five-year-old little girl, five years old, missing. And not only is this chick, Hunter's mom, coming out of the woodwork to say, she was mean to her kids, she was mean, she yelled at them. But she didn't have a problem with it, probably a week prior to having the falling out. She didn't think her, she was that mean to her, to her kids then, right? I mean, why, why give that life is my question. And I'm, Sherry, 
I am not saying he's a good guy. I don't know him. I don't know Don from Adam. But that's exactly the reason why I'm giving him a chance. And let me tell you, you know, all of you guys that sit there and, and watch her friend bash her because she has beef with her right now. What if these two are completely innocent and they've lost their daughter? I mean, even if you did have a falling out with your friend, if her kid's missing, why are you on YouTube talking about, you know, oh, she was mean, she was mean, she yelled at them. And I mean, talk about derailing the whole focus of what's going on here. And that what's going on here is that that little Summer hasn't slept in her bed in over two weeks. You know, it's just, it's unneeded. So here's Don making a phone call to me to fix the rumor info. That's on YouTube. When their kid's missing. I just think it's dumb. If you're going to be true crime, be true crime. But if you're going to be drama, call it what you are. Because that was wrong. Because we don't know. These people might be completely innocent. At the, I mean, at the very least, at the very least, Don was at work. Pretty sure investigators have proven he was at work. <sighs> but we need to keep the focus on Summer because she's somewhere we all know that, that people don't just disintegrate. She's somewhere. Breezy. I don't know anything about the people that lived in her home in the fall. But I'm sure that the investigators do. I mean, They live a different lifestyle than we do, okay? So if she had 14 people living in and out of her house, uh, I would never live like that. But I don't live like her, right? So who's to say she was putting, you know what I mean? Like, oh, she so she wanted Summer missing because she had a bunch of roommates? I mean, how is that fair? You don't know if the ex-friend is telling the truth. No one knows. These two people, this mom and dad, could be completely 150% innocent. And then there's these lives going on with her friend sitting in a van and saying how mean Candace was to her kids. Why were you friends with her? If, if she was so awful to her kids... Why was she your friend? She might be guilty of something. I, I don't know. I can't read her. And I'm not, I'm not sitting here like trying to read, you know, say I can read these people. But I'll be damned if the bottom line here is the five-year-old's missing and then there's three boys that don't have their sister at home. Kids. We're talking about kids. Now, if this Allison, or what's her name, Allison? Hunter's mother. If she doesn't know better, fine. But we as creators know better. Or we should know better. And distinguish between a factual, like interview that's going to like move the case in, in the right direction or an interview that's just going to muddy the waters right i mean lady lady cole like that's they live a different lifestyle leslie please don't scream at me in my chat please Leslie, I'm pretty sure, though, that um, 
the investigators are taking care of of the information from the 15 year old's family don't you i mean i would think so uh we got how many how many agencies involved i mean i don't think they need us youtubers to garner information like that Um, I don't know if she was abducted. I don't know. It is a very, very strange situation. But I'm telling you, I'm not taking sides. He's not coming on today. Don's not coming on today. But he wanted me to clarify, again, there was a story told in the interview with Don about Hunter's mom, Allison, I guess her, her name is. And people don't get all defensive. I mean, why are you all defensive? I just think it's, I just think it was wrong. I don't think that he should be even thinking about this, you know, girlfriend drama, like between girlfriends, women drama at a time like this, no less. And is Allison worried about Summer or is she worried about making Candace look bad? I don't know. I mean, I'm questioning all of the motives here, like everything. But he just wanted to clarify that it wasn't the police that Allison wanted Candace to lie about the relationship she was having with her daughter was having with a 12 year old. She wanted her to lie to about the girl doing it, not lie to the police so he had spoken with candace after we did the interview and he was like i need to clear that up i need to you know let everyone know that it wasn't that you know al Allie asked her to lie to the police okay bye dd have a great day <laughs> next time <laughs> you don't have to say that like bye um, I'm just saying, I just think it's a total diversion to the whole case. So a lot of you are saying, you know, you think that they're both hiding something. I see a lot of you saying that you believe them. I see some of you saying you believe just Don and you think Candace is hiding something. Fair enough. Can he clear up how long 14 stranger? You know, I am going to talk to him and see if we can get some of your questions. What I'll do is I'll have you guys email your questions so that I don't have to look at chat because it's just, it's just too much. Oh, thanks, Catherine. Thanks. Because your comment wasn't rude at all. I mean, really, you get what you give. Like, you can't treat people like crap and then be like, oh, my God, you're so rude. Like, be nice. That's all you got to do. I'm in Tennessee, and it hasn't been too hot this weekend. Where is the live interview? The live interview was Saturday. You know what's misleading? You being in here, Lori. That's what's misleading. <laughs> Where's my mods at? Brunch? I just, I don't know. I just felt like being kind of out. Okay. I don't really think that D knows anything, hey, RC, about her being gone. I think he's just going by what C is saying. So they're so they said, oh, sister knives. Um so they Don said that they both passed a polygraph. And you're right. Ange, Tex, Gal, the family owes no one any explanation. You know what? You're right. That's a good point. Thank you for saying for pointing that out because oh shit. We have a tropical, a tropical, <laughs> a tropical storm warning and storm surge warning. 
for my county. So, you guys, I'm bracing for either a hurricane or a tropical storm. Yikes. Yikes. Pray for me. Um, you're right, Stace. I was up in Kingsport on vacation hoping they would let us crown search via horseback, but they never did. Um, do you, does anybody know? I never heard that um, EquiSearch was involved. Oh my God, someone just did a fire. Did you hear that? That scared me. No, I know. I just, I don't know, you guys. I'm torn. I'm completely torn. And you guys were mad. Like, some of you guys were mad. Like, oh, my God, she censored us. And you guys don't understand the responsibilities of a creator that is having people on. I mean, this, no matter what happened to Summer, there's still a five-year-old missing, and that's his kid. So you have a lot of responsibility when you bring people on your platform and you take responsibility for what's being said what's being said in chat, what's being said in your comments. I mean, there there's a sense of responsibility here. At least in my opinion. Yes, ma'am. Slow chat, she says. Forty and slip and forty and slippers. You used to be really nice to me. I love you too, girl. Thanks. Uh, you handled it well. He didn't need to give the interview. No, he didn't. So I told him. I was like, "Listen, this is how I roll. Like, I'm not gonna let anyone bash you in my chat while we're live. Like, you don't have to worry about that. You guys, you have to think. What if they're completely innocent?" I mean, I just don't want to, I don't want to have a bunch of garbage in there. I don't think it's productive. I don't think it does any good. And I think that it, it just throws everything off. Um, now, I am interested in everything that I'm hearing now about the, the criminal history because him and I didn't talk about that. <laughs> Marge, because he's a Trump fan. That's why. Who cares? He's a Trump fan and he's big on the border and all that stuff. So. Yeah, we don't know. Good point. We don't know if they passed it or not. We know that Don told me that they both passed the polygraph. But there is a sense of responsibility that I feel when I bring someone on my channel that may have lost his daughter forever, you know, and I'm not going to jump on him on a live and let hundreds of people do the same. So we need to just keep the focus on summer. And if that means hearing Don out, if that means hearing Candace out, if that means hearing anybody out, if they have facts, you know, not gossip. I know there's some things that you guys were questioning about um, that he said he got home and the neighbors were already searching. But I think that, you know, people were like, well, why the hell were the neighbors already searching? Like, what? Well, I would be worried if Candace wasn't outside and got the neighbors involved and had everybody looking. How did he make it home before the cops arrived? I don't know. He said that uh, he rushed home. 
So we, I mean, we don't know. Equisearch Midwest did come in. Awesome. Okay, thank you for answering that. Hunter's mother is just mad because her boyfriend Jose was hanging out with Candace. See, it's like a, yeah, it's like a drama thing. Has nothing to do with Summer. Nothing. That girl didn't think anything was wrong with Summer when Summer was in the back seat sleeping. If she did, she would have she would have said something then. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I didn't think that it was, hey, Spooky, I didn't think that it was odd that, of course, you can have opinions. Absolutely, you can have opinions. But when I promise a guest that I'm not going to let any negativity rule the chat and sway from what we're talking about, I'm going to stand by that. And that's this, that's why I have my own channel. Like, if you want to have that kind of stuff, you can have your own channel and you can run it your way. But... Every creator has the right to run their channel their own way. And I feel like, to a degree, that should be respected. Yeah, that is, that's exactly how he described it, Tamara. He said she called Don, said she couldn't find Summer. He said, call 911. They hung up. He rushed home. Thank you, Whitney. Marge, I know it just depends on the situation and the the circumstance and the timing. It's just so, it's so bizarre how some of them just, you know, just captivate and some go by the wayside. It's very sad. Thank you, lady is tramp. The lady is tramp. So no concern for the boys. What do you mean no concern for the boys? Who doesn't have concern for the boys? Okay, so I thought he said he was an hour away. He said he was further than the police. He did say he was further than the police, but he said he rushed home. And that might have been in our phone call prior to our live. Yeah, I mean, they're, it's been over two weeks. I don't think they're going to like. Okay, so here's another thing, another reason why I totally believe him. The investigators have been there, he said, to search like six times. That was his, his quote, like six times. He didn't know exactly, but they'd been back several times. And I said, well, when was the last time? Because you know, you guys know, you follow true crime. You know, if someone's a suspect, they are go continually going back. They're not going to stop going back. There's always going to be something to go back for as they can continue their investigation. Do you not agree? While well, the investigators were there, he said quite a few times. But they haven't been there. He couldn't even remember the last time. He said they've been working a while now on putting their house back together. Now let that sink in for a minute. Let's assume they're innocent. Their house was torn apart by FBI, TBI, whatever. And they're left to put it back together. Meanwhile, their daughter's missing. I don't know. It's a very confusing. And in, I'm just trying to see it from both sides instead of jumping the gun, you know. And I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not perfect. And I have jumped the gun in the past. And I'm learning to slow down. And there's nothing wrong with learning, guys. Like, I don't need to be criticized for things that I've done in the past. If, if you continue to do the same things, then it's a problem. 
But if you do something and you learn from your mistake, it's no longer a mistake. It's called learning. That's how we learn. The sheriff said the other day they've had to get no warrants. Yeah, I mean, that's what Don said. They immediately were in the house. He, they couldn't even leave because their entire road was blocked. He, I mean, this man has people coming to his house with flashlights in the middle of the night. He's got three kids there. I was asking, would it not be better to have more eyes and ears close to their home by having, by having what? Animal control, the health department, state law, not states for animals. What? I don't understand what you're talking about, Lady Q, at all. What are we talking about? Rabies shots. Ruth, yeah, I don't ever want to be in that in that predicament. Um, in the Heidi Broussard case, I jumped on Shane uh, Carey. It was right after Chris Watson. I was like, oh, my God. Another guy did this. And I I felt awful afterwards. When I figured out it wasn't him, it was like, wow. He was missing his newborn baby and his girlfriend or fiance. No, they weren't engaged. His girlfriend. And here you are. Can't do that. It's irresponsible. It's irresponsible and I've learned and, and that's fine. You know, other people can do what they want, but I've learned and I don't like how I feel doing that. So it's my moral compass, I guess. You learn, you learn. Sherry Thomas, I appreciate that. Oh, the not knowing the ages. I don't find that to be odd. I really don't. I mean, some men don't know exactly, you know, they'll forget, like, oh, did he turn 12 last birthday or 11? I mean, you're talking about, A, a guy that, you know, works all the time. He's probably not home very much. B, he's under a lot of stress. He's probably not sleeping, like he said. And who cares? I mean, really, who cares? That doesn't mean that he did anything to his kid because he had to ask Wyatt how old he was. I mean, shoot, my son's about to turn... T See? I can't even think... Is he 25 or 26? You know what I'm saying? 26. He was born in 95. My son's about to turn 26. <clears throat> I forget how old I am. Shit. I'm not... That, that's not a red flag. Ruth Elizabeth, I am so sorry for your loss. She says, I lost a nine-year-old son in a car accident. So when people talk about how a parent should act when a child died or is missing, people don't have a clue. Everyone reacts different. And I'm pretty sure you don't ever, ever, ever want to be in that situation to find out how you would react. Yeah, I don't, I haven't seen any criminal records from Don. If you guys have those, like I said, I did not look into like this whole family with a fine tooth comb. If there's arrest re or like court documents, if you can like email them to me, j is for justice at gmail.com. Um, I'd like to see what, what's in his history. Cause he said to me, I have a pass. I'm not denying that. I am, I am no angel, but I'm not that person. And I think it's important, not just for him, but for people in general to remember that we're not our past. People can make changes for the better. And if you don't believe that, I don't know how you're ever like happy or positive in your life because damn, a lot of things really suck. Um, Enlightened one, to be clear, I did think you did a great interview with Don. I know it was very delicate. No one should be demeaned regardless. Ever, if you were too aggressive, he could have hung up. Yeah, and I wouldn't have put that on him. 
SS, I'm sorry for your loss. You were 55 for three years? I think I was like 30 for, I don't know, like three years. Well, you know, he also told me that all these thoughts go through his head, you know, when he sits and thinks and he breaks down. Not all men are going to cry in front of a camera. There's, there's men who were brought up. You do not freaking cry, let alone in front of people. So I think you guys are being a little hard on him like he dude he wasn't even there right danny b good point you're not defined by your past but i don't know what his past is so but does his past maybe bring sketchy people into the picture possibly um he couldn't think of anyone that's been around except for people coming down the road to um buy drugs in the neighborhood lisa reason you gave him the option of recording it ahead of time or going live good for don for going live to you I just messaged him and offered to send dog food. We need to help them rather than... Be oh, my gosh. That's so... Beagle, mama. Look at your beagle, baby. That is so nice. See? That's what I'm talking about. Regardless of what you think about the mom and the dad, not only is there three innocent children in that home, but beagle mom, there's, there's dogs on that property. And you know what? We all know that now. We're all aware. We didn't know about these people three weeks ago. We had no idea who the Wells family out of the hills of T Tennessee was. But you know what? We do now. We do now. So, you know what, Beagle? I'm going to piggyback that, and I'm going to let everybody know that I sent some toys to... The boys and they should get those on thursday so beagle i i just appreciate you man that's that was super cool i will definitely um can you email me because i can i can give you a, an their address where you can send that i love that beagle that just that just made my day i mean that's just that's what it's about being kind I mean, I didn't even think of that, you know, like I didn't think of that. And that is amazing. You guys have the best hearts. You have the best hearts. And you have to remember this is about a child. That's, that's what we need to remember. Wow. I'm just, I think that's really cool. Hey, you guys, if you want to piggyback, if you want to send something, hit me up. I will give you the address. I'm going to make sure it's okay with Don. So I want to respect that. Um, but if you want to email me, I don't want to take any money, no cash, gift cards, um, things for the boys, gift cards of any kind to restaurants or things for the boys to do. I mean, these are ideas. Um, I don't want to collect any cash. I just want to, you know, help at least those boys. So, exactly, Drew. Exactly. No matter what, these boys don't have their little sister there. And I can ask Don if there's anything specific that the boys could use. So let me let me get on that. Oh my God, you guys are so sweet. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I will make a community post after I, I'm going to get a hold of Don 
ask him about stuff for the boys, what they could use or anything like that, or what they like, what their interests are, and I can put it in a community post on YouTube. And lady, that would be awesome. I wonder if there's a mobile, like, low-cost spay and neuter that can go out there and, and do that on site. He has not been back to work yet, Judy. So I'm saying if you guys want to, you know, throw him a gift card, I can find out what grocery stores are there. Um, Yeah, no, I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. And you know what? I'm telling you, no matter what you think about him or Candace, think about those three kids. Coat of many colors. You're in the area, correct? Mobiles are here like once or twice in the summer. Maybe we can get get that. But I'd like to get the, the kids stuff. So I'm going to ask Don what the kids could use and all of that. And I'll put it in a community post. Um, And I will ask about the dogs too. I'll find out all that info. You guys are so kind. I really didn't expect this to turn into that. And even if, even if you don't, if you think the, you know, they're shady, I'm still seeing that you're still being kind because of the kids. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Don's been out of work for a couple weeks, so it hasn't been that long, but I imagine that it will catch up to them sooner or later, you know, that he's not working because he's the sole provider. But he said that his employer is being very understanding, but he feels bad that he hasn't been back to work. But he just can't focus. Okay, I'm pretty sure they have a Walmart. because Okay, so if you guys want to look at what they have in their area, Kingsport is closer to them than Rogersville. So they would be going to Kingsport. Yes, gift cards. Um, and I wouldn't recommend e-gift cards. I would say, you know, mailed to them, mailed to them. That's just my, that's my preference. That's what I would say. I don't, I'm not going to do anything via email. I don't know if they have a printer. I don't, I don't know if they have kind of smartphones. They, I don't know. I don't even want to mess with that shit. We'll just send them plastic gift cards and whatever you know if you guys want to order stuff for the kids but yeah we'll figure it out absolutely elizabeth that's what i did i ordered them and i ordered them some toys from uh amazon so mine are going to be delivered thursday so just so you know just fyi um matt i'll answer you in one second FYI, I might be out of commission for a couple days because I've got a hurricane coming right at me, right at the Tampa Bay area. So if I'm not around, that's why. They have an Amazon wish list. Okay, I'll see if I can find that out. I would rather, you know, find out if there's stuff they, they specifically need. If we can get just a little list going and get that stuff ordered and Amazon it to them or Walmart, you know. So Rogersville is further away from them. You want to look if there's, you know, um, things to do in Kingsford or Kingsport. Sorry. Kingsford is the charcoal. Kingsford, Kingsport. Kingsport. And Rogersville. So... If you can find anything cool, like I know someone sent the boys to laser tag last week, which I thought was pretty neat. And then they were at the pool the other day when I talked to Don. That was another reason why I didn't keep him on the phone. I mean, he was hanging out with his family at the pool. I think 40 minutes was great. You know, it was plenty long. Um, Y'all can order. See, that's the thing. Like you can order from wherever you want. If you just send it to their house. Thank you, Tiffany. Yes, activities in the area.
Embedded is how much money Candace has before y'all send anything. What? I'm no one's sending them money. Let's just get that straight. They're sending the boys things, gift cards for food. That's just being a good human. Wow, Elizabeth, that's really nice. If if you don't want to help out the kids, that's fine, but don't. Don't make negative out of this, for real. Shit, we've all been locked down for a year and stuff. Let's not... Let's just be nice. That's the, See, that's the beauty of it. You guys are going to have the freedom to send whatever you want to pick out. And that's part of the fun of helping people, is, you know, picking out things that you think they'd like. Yeah. Oh, Judy. Can someone take Judy Gagnon 16? Judy, someone take down Judy's email so we can keep her posted. But if you guys want to check the community post, gas cards are awesome. Awesome idea. And, you know, the, the boys uh, find out if they're going... I don't know if they go to school if they're homeschool. I'm not. I don't know what their educational situation is, but if they need like any kind of school supplies, possibly. It is one ten. Yes, one ten, Ben Hill Road, Rogersville, Tennessee. And I don't know the zip offhand. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. It's hard when you're reading chat and it's kind of going fast. So I'll find out all those questions. So let me, before we get off here, let me make a little list so I don't forget anything. I know myself. I'll forget. Who's AB? Lisa says, what happened? Hop and Holly, what happened on AB's live stream last night when AB would let you on? Oh, thanks, Tabitha. Oh, thanks, Sister Knives. Lady will help with dog spading. Schools. Okay. Okay, so we you guys wanted shoe sizes? What else? Good point about the animals. So this is a bash everyone what? Deb B, why are you, why do you gotta, like, make a bitchy comment in the middle of, like, people being nice? Ah. Huh? Okay, so, yeah, the pet food was an awesome idea. Beagle had that idea. So, their address, someone put it in chat already. So, go ahead. If you want to order dog food, send it there. Clothing sizes. Shoe and clothes. And then, like, any interest. I know Don said in his one interview, the boys were on the internet, per usual, or as usual. So. Okay, cool. Sister Knives, dude. Thank you. I'm horrible with lists. I've always had kind people in my chats. I, I appreciate it so much. I can give you the zip code. I have it. Mom and dad side. Oh, wow. Okay. Add that sister knives. <laughs> Judy, where do you order dog food? Chewy.com, Amazon. I would recommend Amazon, maybe. Because people can gouge you with the shipping if you're not familiar with it. I will, oh yeah, the bills. Add that to the list, sister. Um, Walmart. Walmart for delivery. I don't know if their Walmart delivers, though. They're like in the middle of nowhere. But Chewy is free shipping over 49 bucks. I get stuff from Ch Chewy all the time. Molly, I don't. Oh 
I'm just kidding. I don't know what they got at their church. It's not my concern. <laughs> why do you want to? Why do you want to deter people from being being nice? I don't know about cats. I'll ask. Add that, sister. Cats. We love animals and children. They're the most innocent, awesome creatures on the planet. You guys are great. I never imagined this would go this way. I imagine there's cats. I would, if I'm guessing, yeah. But I will, I will find out. Sister Knives is getting that list together. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I will make a community post though and um, answer all these questions. Thank you, Brunch Mom. You know what, Brunch? I'm going to pin that because, amen, sister. Like, why are you going to be hateful to people that just want to help kids and animals? The kids do deserve a little fun. They did not. I mean, they're innocent. L.A. cake make. Ange says, over give is like over love. No such thing. Yeah, cats, cats can, but the dogs, we really need to make sure those dogs are taken care of. And I think that's an awesome idea. Right. If I want to spend my money helping someone, don't chastise me for that. It's my money. I think you guys have great, great hearts. Yeah. I don't know, man. This whole thing has just got me just shook. Yeah, Anna, I will I will ask about the utilities and on the internet so we can make sure, you know, the boys keep their internet since they like it so much. And uh Wow. Lady in chat is is the one that's gonna be helping with the dogs. Danny, I'm going to ask about school. I'm going to ask about the utilities. Um, and if the utilities do need, if they need help, what I'll do is I will get the account number and y'all can make a payment to the electric company or the internet company or whatever directly to that company. That's not a bad idea, Sister Knives. But then we got to have them haul it all to them. I feel like if you're going to order something through the mail, just send it, ship it to their house. If you're going to ship it, just get it right to them. Then you know they got it. Damn, Anna. Anna's going to get her tool belt on and get over there and do like... Home makeover extreme edition. Breezy, I don't are the do the boys go to school or are they they homeschooled? I wasn't sure. I didn't ever hear anybody say anything about that. But if they're going to school, they're gonna need school supplies, school clothes, shoes, and all that good stuff. No one's saying, Court, that they don't have money. We're just trying to be kind. I'm not sure where their church is. I know it's close by them. But I think if you're going to ship something, just send it right to them. Be easier. Hey, if anybody wants to hire Molly maids to go out there. I don't think they'd turn it down. Gift cards, such as MasterCard. Yeah, you can get Visa, MasterCard. You can get those. Um, okay, so the kids do, do go to school. Yeah, during COVID, I'm sure that Don just was going back to work.
Well, I do know their house is in shambles. He told me. He told me. We're trying to put our house back together. It was searched, you guys. It was torn apart. What it looked like before, I mean, regardless of that, it was torn apart even more. Three boy mom. Now that is just so negative. You have no idea if these boys are taken care of or not. You know, and I'm going to say, I was judgy when I first saw this case. I was like, oh boy. But you know what? Who am I to judge them? When I talked to him, he was actually very respectful, very nice, very open. Who am I to judge them? They don't have a lot. And you know what? Georgia Dog, you've taught me a lot about not being judgy like that. And she says Candace said she did not buy or give the boy alcohol. We don't know. We don't know. Nicole Morgan, pro tip. It costs nothing to be a kind and empathetic person. Stop being judgy McJudgertons. For real. Shit, if you guys want to send maids to there... They'd probably keel over and not know what in the hell is going on over there. I don't think they, exp I mean, the, what's being talked about right now, I, I think they're going to be floored. Well, regardless, green eyes, we, we want to see summer found regardless of the outcome. We need her to be found. And then we also need to think about her brothers. I mean, maybe wasn't it like a like a long like a iced tea thingy? What are those called? They're nasty as hell. But what are those called? The um, Ari not Arizona. Was it what like a Ar Arnold Palmer? I mean, if Hunter's, okay, if Hunter's sister was sleeping with a 12-year-old when she was 15, if that's true, I just think that these people might live a little differently than we do. Twisted T. I always do, Blair. I always am fair. I just wish everybody was the same. Green eyes? Maybe so. And if their own actions hurt them, then they're the ones that have to pay the price for that. We're not here to be attacking them right now. This is still an ongoing investigation. We still don't know what's going to happen. We don't know anything. So unless you guys think the boys had something to do with this, shut up. And I say that in the most kind fashion. All right, so let's start. You guys are awesome with this home stuff, but let's start with the kids and food and and school supplies and all of that. I don't like people cutting down country folks either. Because I'm married to one. And he's a very, very good person. And he's very, very not judgmental. And he's really, really taught me a lot about not being judgmental. Imagine being those boys having to go back to school. With, yes, with all this going on. Tracy, exactly, Tracy. Why did she let her 15-year-old go with Candace if she thought Candace was so mean and awful? Elizabeth, thank you. I'm going to pin their address. If you guys would like to, if you don't want to wait, uh-oh, if you don't want to wait and you want to send them stuff, um, 
I'm pinning this address at the top. Go ahead and send it to him. Send it to Don and Candace. I, I put the Wells boys, I think, on my Amazon package. But regardless, 110 Ben Hill Road, Rogersville, Tennessee. I'm going blind. 37857-5795. Yep, it costs zero dollars to be kind. Everybody knows their address, so I'm not worried about that. I'm barefoot right now. Shit. Yeah, I just don't think now is the time to be snooty or snobby. Like, that's not going to help find summer. Well, they have $50,000 reward. That's what Don told me. You know, what I find to be interesting are a couple of things. And I don't know what this means, so maybe we put our heads together and come up with theories. But I find it interesting that A... They're not asking for the public's help. As far as I know, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen them, you know, with flyers. We're still distributing flyers. We're doing this, that, the other. Like, I asked Don, like, what are you guys doing? And he was like, we're at the water park right now. So there's like, I mean, like, no organized searches with the public. I haven't seen them, the TBI, say anything about the public, really, except for the neighbors checking their yards. Bridget, it depends on, it depends on, you know, what these, what people have. 50 grand is a lot of money. So that I think is odd that they're not asking for the public's help at all. What does that mean? It means that they don't think she was kidnapped. It means that really the yellow car probably doesn't mean anything. Because if it did, don't you think that'd be on a flyer? As a possible vehicle? We never heard anything about that. Well, they're, they can't control their family members. Hannah Bay, you think that she was not alive in the back seat? Because of the terrain, right. But Danny B, let's think outside of their little bubble. Think outside of their little bubble in Tennessee. Why in the heck isn't it being talked about right outside there? Like, be on the lookout for this little girl. Possible, you know, yellow vehicle seems seen speeding away. Da, 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 da. Nothing. Nothing. There's just nothing. It bothers me. The family member is asking for gifts for the boys. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't think she looked... I think she looked like she was sleeping. It's just a very, very odd case. Steve's pink apple. Candace and Grandma were getting new phones yesterday. Maybe their phones were cracked and they they were in desperate need of them. I don't know. Aw. SMA is going to send something from the freaking UK. The police know something or they wouldn't be so tight-lipped.
The milk wouldn't have been too cold. They were just swimming. She was probably exhausted. Because um, Candace picked up Hunter at like 10, 1030, and then dropped him off at 230. So that was four hours. In the sun, swimming. Any five-year-old would be knocked out. Y'all want to send something to the family. Their address is pinned. Um, I will get sizes and all of that for you guys. I'll make a community post. Um, other than that, um, I just, I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your open-mindedness in seeing past whatever you think of the parents and looking at these kids. And, and, and I want that to be like going forward, you know, I think about the Watts girls. The Watts girls got lost in that whole shuffle for two and a half years of BS, of rumors, and they're, you know, Chris telling different stories and YouTubers doing, making up stories. It's just like, what about the kids? When did Don say he fired the driver of the yellow car? What? He didn't say he knew anyone in a yellow car. Aw, Anna, you made my day. I agree, Amber. I agree. I don't know. Um, Grandma Bree is pretty upset because her uh, her daughter was abducted and never found. She disappeared without a trace and was never found. And that's another weird um, coincidence in this case, I guess. He fired the guy. He didn't say that to me, though. I didn't. I could ask him about it, but I he didn't say that to me. I can ask him about it though. Yeah, I just don't feel like they're they're thinking that she's you know, and that's what makes me sad too. They're not thinking she's out there. And that anyone's gonna possibly see her. Do you know what I mean? I mean it's obvious that they don't think that. Cause they'd be telling the public to keep their eyes open. So the question is, where is Summer Wells? What happened to her? It's very unlikely that a child gets taken from their home, but tell that to Mark Lunsford. Mark Lunsford's little girl was taken from her bed in the middle of the night by a sex offender. You just don't know. Green eyes, that's crazy. There's a yellow SUV in the video of Summer dancing in the rain. He said it was a four-door, but I, I just feel like if that was a car, they were... I don't know. Maybe they wouldn't tell us. Maybe they found... Maybe they found who who was in that yellow car. Maybe it was someone just leaving someone's house. <laughs> yeah, don't harass the family. Don't go to their house. Don't message them anything negative. It's not going to help the the situation. Even if her location wasn't on, I'm pretty sure that if they subpoena, like, her records from her cell phone company, you can still tell. Even though you turn your location off, don't think that if you commit a crime, they're not going to be able to find your ass. Ouch. Damn, that hurt. Woo! 
I think I broke my toe a couple weeks ago. Holy shit, that hurt. Mmm. Ooh, just bent it wrong. Dang. Sorry. Um. There's just no telling. You literally don't know. Mm. Yes, homo sasa. Homo sasa. Homo sasa. He said he fired the worker who was on meth on Monday. I don't remember who was interviewing him. A man, I believe. Um, she could have walked back out of the house and not been seen. We just don't know. There's just so many what ifs, what if, what if. There's just so many things like, was it a comment Don made? Was it a comment a family friend made? Was it a comment her friend made? Was it Hunter's mom? Was it Rose? Was it Jose? Was it grandma? I mean, my word. The truth will come out in time. Cat and Dog Depot are cheap. Okay. My son's second grade classmate's mom was best friends with Amber Hankerman. Interesting. All right, you guys. I'm going to hop off of here, but... um, I will get all those questions answered. Be looking in my community tab for a post about it. And I just, I want to thank you guys for being kind. And I'm sure that the boys will be grateful. And we will reconvene. We will reconvene. Thank you so much. And everybody continue to be kind. You guys, your kindness made my day today. Where is the reward fund? Civ okay, Bridget Survey 319 just um posted where what bank if you want to if you want to give cash money any civis bank to the summer wells fund don't give your cash to anyone else just give it to the bank where there's a fund set up for her the gifts they want after we bring Summer Moon home. Shoot, I'll buy the whole fam tablets, including Granny. <laughs> Granny's going to get an iPad and learn how to go online. Civis Bank. C-I-V-I-S Bank. Thank you, Drew's Par Paranormal Vlog. You guys are great. And uh, wish me luck. Tomorrow, tomorrow is when this storm is supposed to be here, so... I will definitely try to get a hold of Don today. All right, guys. You guys take care. Um, I'll see you soon. And if anything comes up between now and then, I will definitely go live. So take care.